You ever wonder why popcorn actually can pop into this puff ball? Now, at the very center of a corn's kernel is a little bit of water. And so when you heat it, it expands to the point where it could eventually explode into this big puff ball. Popcorn has probably been around for about 5,000 years. And Americans consume 1.2 billion pounds, that's 500 million kilograms, every single year. And I used to love popcorn. And I even worked at a theater as the popcorn maker when I was 16 years old. And I used to consume and down a massive amount of popcorn. So unfortunately, popcorn is not on the menu if you're doing keto. In fact, it's very unfriendly keto. But today we're going to talk about microwave popcorn because I have gotten a couple questions about this. Um, Dr. Berg, what is the best type of pop popcorn to consume? And is, it, is it okay to do microwave popcorn or should I make it myself? And of course, I always tell them, don't do any popcorn. But I wanted to mention something about microwave popcorn because there's a certain chemical called PFC, perfluorinated compounds, which then turns into PFOA, which I'm not going to get into what that stands for. But this chemical prevents the oil from seeping through the bag. It's also present in Teflon, pizza boxes, sandwich wrappers, and a lot of other packages. In fact, 98% of all Americans have this chemical in their bodies. And the problem is it's a carcinogen and it can build up in your body and lead to kidney cancer and testicular cancer. There's also another chemical in microwave popcorn that they use for the flavoring, like artificial butter flavor called dicetyl, which can lead to what's called popcorn lung because it destroys the lung. Then you also have the hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils, which are trans fats in a lot of these popcorns, which is not very good, which is very, very unhealthy for your arteries. And on top of everything, most corn that is sold, especially in the US, is GMO. So it has traces of glyphosate. So unfortunately, there's a lot of negative things that have to do with popcorn and especially microwave popcorn. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before.